Hello my crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and share with you a few online hauls and also um, a haul that I did on Spellbinders, which is also online. All right, so first I wanted to share with you this cute little online girl that I found. She is a lovely girl. And I'm sure you all have seen her before, but I um, finally played with her and I wanted to share with you the lovely girls that I created. And I think they came out so super cute. So here are my first two lovely girls. Really, really cute. Let me move that out of the way so you can see it better. But I love the little purse that she comes with and the little flowers on her dress. Super, super cute. So those are the two right there. And then I made these two as well. And I can't wait to add them to some packaging or a project. Super cute. So I wanted to share those. Um, I did want to share with you this cloud uh, shaker. Um, I did share it on my Instagram yesterday. This is what the die looks like. It was an online purchase. And um, I created this really cute shaker. Um, added my own little sequin mix and those cute little stars. Um, I've had those in my stash for a really long time. I don't even remember where I picked them up, but it's a super cute, fun um, die. And as you can see, you can make a shaker out of it. So unicorn, you know, sweet dreams. That's what I was thinking when I purchased that. Um, another fun die that I found is this one right here. And it looks like that. It has a heart and then it has, it's basically a globe and it has a heart as the center. It's really, really cute. So I'm gonna share with you what it looks like um, cut out. Um, I just put it on a tag because I was just playing with it and wanted to see what it would look like. Um, I did use some really thick uh, glitter cardstock, so it just stayed intact, but the heart, um, I was able to pop the heart out, and so I added a different color heart for the, the inside, and then I used gold uh, cardstock for the, the base. So really, really fun die, really, really pretty. Um, I did pick up these two dies right here, and they are actually really, really extra cute. And this is what they look like cut out. Let me just share with you. There is the heart, and then, then the little, uh, I don't know if they're like little diamond shapes. That's what they kind of look like to me with a, a scalloped edge. But look how super cute that is, and I can't wait to play with that. I thought this would be really cute in the baby album I'm getting ready to create. And I just love the tiny hearts. And then with that other die that I just shared with you, you know, this could actually be a really cute card. And I'm just sitting here thinking out loud, but look how cute that would be. And that would be like, you know, an extra cute little card just like that with a little small sentiment right there. Um, so super, super cute. Happy with that purchase right there. And then this was the next one that I found. And as you can see, it's like a really pretty floral uh, I guess maybe it's a dolly. I'm not really sure, but I just really thought this was really gorgeous. I love all the fine detail. It cut out really nicely, and um, I want to incorporate this in my baby album as well, some kind of way. So I wanted to share that with you. And then, <coughs> excuse me. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my Spellbinders haul. My friend Danessa, who is DLove123, I think it's one, two, four, or one, two, three. I'm not sure. I will, I'm sorry. I will leave her um, YouTube channel in the description box below. But she um, is a sweet friend of mine, and she messaged me telling me that these dies were on sale on the Spellbinders website. And so when she told me, I immediately jumped on it and I purchased a few dies. They are the contour steel dies, so you can punch out fabric, um, leather you know, more things than just paper. So that's why I wanted to pick this up. So the first one that I'm um, sharing with you is this Naughty or Nice, and as you can see, it's a stocking die. And I really wanted to get this one because it's a really nice size. Let me share with you what it looks like cut out. So here is the stocking, and then right here, this would be the, the piece, you know, the top of the stocking, just to give you an idea, and I'm sorry for my lighting. I'm using that really sparkly paper, but look how nice, it's a, it's, a, it's a really nice size, and I'm sorry I didn't bring a ruler down here, but just wanted to share that with you. Um, I do not know if they're still having the sale. You'll have to go to the Spellbinders website 
and find out, but I believe I purchased this dye for $4.50, so really good deal. So thank you, Danessa, for sharing that with me. And this one right here, this is the flower dye. It's called Flowerette Posies, and it is super cute. And then let me quickly share with you the next one. I did pick up this one, and this is a big one, and I apologize for the glare, but this is called the Geo Heart Box, and it creates a really super cute box. Now, for this particular die, you do need the platinum die cut machine because it is an eight and a half by 11 uh, die, steel rule die. And then the last one I wanna quickly share with you, well, actually, I, have, I guess I have a couple. <laughs> I got this one right here, and it's Diamond in the Rough. And when I purchased this one, I was thinking it was the diamond because they have another one that is like in the shape of a diamond that I've seen it Tuesday morning and um, it wasn't the diamond, it's this one, but it's okay. I'm gonna play with it and keep it. I think this was only $9. Um, the ones at Tuesday morning were $19.99. So, I mean, it was a good deal. Uh, so I picked that one up thinking that it was a diamond and it actually is the shape of a diamond, but uh, it's, they do have another one, but anyway. Okay, so here is the next one, and I know you guys have probably seen this at Tuesday morning, and again, I think I believe, I believe I picked this up for $9. I can't remember the sale price, but it was a good deal, you guys, and this is an awesome size box. I knew when I saw it at Tuesday morning that I really did want it because I just, I like the size of the box that it creates, and again, you will need a bigger die cut machine um, if you want to play with this one, it is an eight and a half by 11 size. All right, so let me show you what they look like cut out. Okay, so here is that really cute heart box. And as you can see, I made a little band. And I didn't make it specifically for this heart box, but I just thought I would put it on there and see what it looked like. And I'm like, oh, that's actually really cute. Because I actually put it on the little um, the box that um, I made. Um, the little gift box and I'll show you that in just a second, but this is the flower and I did cut it out of felt and I just layered it with different colored felt and then I put a real uh, Flower on the top of it, but isn't that super cute you guys and again, I was just playing this doesn't really look that <laughs> that amazing, but um, The possibilities are endless of course and it's just really cute You can just take this off and then you have the inside which I already have, I have some little bows in there I was working on, but isn't it's a nice size box, you guys. Really, really cute. So um, I'm really happy with this die, and I think I'm gonna try to cut it out of some heavier weight cardstock um, and play with it some more, but I really love this heart box. And then I just love my little, this could be a headband too for a little girl. <laughs> okay, so here is the gift box, and this is what it looks like. Let's see, how do I open it? I don't even remember how I did this box. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, here we go. So it opens up like that, but look at the size of the box. I mean, it's an awesome size, and uh, as you can see, I didn't glue it. I didn't adhere it in the inside like I was supposed to, so don't do what I did. But look how cute this would be as well if you just put it on the little gift box. You could do something like that. And it's a good size box, you guys. I mean, it's really nice size. It's three by three by three. So anyway, pick that up and I love it. I think it's super cute, especially for Mother's Day coming up. And this is what that diamond looks like. And again, it's a great size. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, I saw some examples, so I'm gonna play with it. But look at that, and, it, and you could put something inside of it if you wanted to. It could be like a little gift inside. I mean, how cute would that be just like sitting it like that? Uh, so anyway, that is my online haul share for you guys. Uh, check the description box below if you want more information on what I shared with you today. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.